What? At this point, this should really be nothing new with everybody. Just because I wear overalls and a sweatshirt should not mean anything to anyone, though, at this point anymore. I dressed up in a Ghostbusters outfit for you guys. Come on. I guess this bit's over. <laughs> Alright, so hello one, this is me again, Vincent, and welcome to a, another trailer reaction since um, the Scream trailer reaction I did a few weeks ago beforehand since I said I was going to get a lot of stuff out of the way. So I am currently going to be starting recording that um, uh, Godzilla uh, news video that I have to do and several other videos though, but I figured when I get some trailer reactions out of the way, including some movies that already came out, though there's actually um, two that already came out already and one that's re uh, it's come out re um very soon though but don't don't you guys say that I haven't done nice things for you alright cause if you guys remember I did the trailer reaction for Paranormal Activity next to Kin last year in October though and we all know how that went <laughs> so they before the movie um very boldishly released on um, Paramount Plus on October 31st. I mean, for real, who wa who really watched it? Well, I know who watched it though, because like a few weeks afterwards, found footage, or no, found flicks, the YouTube channel found flicks released a video on explaining what's going on though. I didn't see it yet, so I might after this <laughs> after this video though. So, all right, update though. I did actually watch found flicks's video um, after I recorded this trailer reaction. Afterwards though, a um, few few minutes later afterwards since I said I was gonna do it though And for the rest of the video you're gonna hear me speculate on what I think the movie was gonna is gonna be Or what it was though, so for all you who are gonna comment in the comments though About the spoilers and stuff though, it's still fine if you want to do that You could comment spoilers of this shitty movie um, on, on this video Though, but I did find out this movie is ignoring the other movies and it is still calling itself print activity but it's doing what it should have been doing since part one and having an anthology it's a completely different story it has nothing to do with the bullshit katie or toby shit anymore so they finally learned their lesson and just moved on past that so it's a different story entirely i found out so uh for all you who are going to say it in the comments though and i got shit wrong though so just giving you an update now before you guys kill me so anyways back to the rest of the reaction Yep, so I've been teasing that this day was going to happen, and I've been putting off this official trailer for off for so long. So, we did the teaser, I'm sitting here, and I guess the appropriate attire for right now. This is not on purpose, by the way. I don't have these overalls on on purpose. I just wore these today, because I wanted to, now leave me alone. Anyway, so let's get through this pain. As much as you guys liked that last video, let's see this though. So. I have many questions, like I said, if you want to know what I think of what's going on, watch that obvious last video I did on Paranormal Activity next to Ken. So, I don't know if it's a continuing the same Katie, Toby ghost story after the last movie, um, Ghost Dimension, or what the fuck it's doing, or if it's a prequel, or whatever. It's weird that it's still found footage, but it doesn't feel like found footage, it don't look nothing like found footage. I don't know what's going on, and all I know is there's no point in them continuing. They made, they ended the franchise technically on a PS4 VR game called The Lost Souls, so who knows though. But let's get right into this though. All right, whenever you're ready. We are shooting a documentary because I am about to meet my first biological relative. I'm sorry, what? She's Amish. I'm not. I am not Amish. <laughs> We are humbled and grateful to have our sister Margot return to us. <laughs> Piggies! I've always hoped that I could meet you all, so this is a really special moment for me. Sorry for the noise too, by the hey, way. Mind if I film you for a moment? I like your doll. What's your name? Yeah. Yeah, that was my mom's name. She used to live here a long time ago. She's still here. What did she say? They did reborn. Oh. Fuck you. Why would they build a church all the way back here? What is that? The demon Timotheus was trapped inside a chosen woman of God. This has happened before. Family 
probably within a 50 mile area. Let's use the trailer again. Oh. Oh my god. Are you sure about this? I have to know. <laughs> oh my god they're not serious <laughs> oh my god they just really pulled this out of their ass didn't they oh my god oh my god Blumhouse said we're not making this shit no more we're making more Purge and we're making the Five, Five Nights Freddy's movie and Black Phone but let's throw this at Paramount <laughs> and see what they they have okay so this explains the one question i had is that what time period does this movie take place in so it's at this woman is sarah a character from any of the other movies because hopefully because from what this movie seems like it's hinting at the fact that it's still continuing that bullshit story since the first but it's also seeming like it feels like it's a reboot like it's ignoring that so it's a, so is it a requel, a sequel, reboot? Like, is it ignoring all the other stuff? I don't fucking know. <laughs> I don't know. All I know is that they're Amish. That explains why they're still like in this 1800s thing. Um, they're filming a documentary. Makes sense. She's going to go see her living relative in like years, and there just so happens to be this devil cult demon thing that seems like the same thing from the other movies this feels stupid <laughs> like in every way though like it, it looks like a terrible found footage i never seen found footage look terrible i seen a lot of found footage documentary type movies that did the documentary found footage style though horror film but this looks boring like they got these shots that are basically like you're looking at me as a still shot and like they got these terrible filter effects though these very cinematic shots for stuff in b-roll it looks terrible it looks like they just rushed this though and like hey let's do some devil stuff that makes sense some spoopy devil stuff <laughs> that's fun I need to actually look back at this now I wanna look at it so I know what I'm talking about actually yeah cuz you have shots like this shot a lot of these shots look cinematic but then you're they're saying it's a documentary found footage I can understand they're shooting b-roll but come on <laughs> I know I might be nitpicking but it's paranormal activity it who, who cares <laughs> those are pigs I love that there's pigs there was a two-headed goat creature it seems like they're just ignoring all that stuff like it's like oh well it's a good thing if you I hope that's what they're doing ignoring everything else and doing something else in the universe which is what they should have done since the first movie so it came out October 29th still they had some nerve putting this out marketing it for Halloween ooh you're gonna be spooked by the fact that paranormal activity is back cuz yeah it's not like the ghost in the last movie one and it's not like that's terrible acting by the way what did you just say what did I say? I'm losing my mind during recording this video. This is the most genuine I've been in a recording of a video. Though. Like, it feels good that it feels like it's going to do something different. At least. And not the same Katie Toby story. But it, it feels like two different things. Like, they want to do what I should said they should have been doing since the first movie anthology. But at the same time, it feels like they're trying to fit it in the stupid narrative that has been since the first movie. Like, they want it to be different, 
with a different demon or ghost or these Amish people and in like a cult or whatever, but it's the same thing. Though, like, they're trying to get the same story narrative in between, though. And literally, they just play half of, like, the teaser at the end of this. This is just a few, like, minutes of the teaser, though, but with just a few extra scenes, though, and stuff we already seen. <laughs> though, Jesus. And this movie came out as fast as... Everyone forgot about this movie just as, as fast as it came out, though. And... The ending here looks like Descent. They just say, oh, we gotta see what's down there in the spooky hole. Though, and it's just a dude to make up. Though, very skinny looking and not creative. Interesting. We, and there's bones in there. Look at him. Ooh, spooky. <laughs> Streaming October 29th. No, fuck you. <laughs> Some nerd putting this out during, this, during that time. No. I'm so sorry that if, like, this video... Is, is like all over the place for the reaction videos and more more all over the place in a lot of my videos but I'm just genuinely want to get this out of me watching this this is stupid why did they make another one who was really wanting another paranormal activity I wasn't they clearly beat the franchise into the ground once they said you know what nobody's gonna watch these shitty movies anymore let's put on a PS4 game as VR that would be scary we'll get our money that way but we're not getting money because they're streaming it and not putting it in theaters because that that's gonna that that would have been even bolder if they were like 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 we're gonna release this in theaters and they looked at this and they're like no way we're gonna release this in theaters <laughs> did you see that invisible pole that the chick flying up in the air no way we're releasing this in theaters do you see the cinematography it hardly even qualifies as a found footage Though, but, damn, I already got a headache from this. I'm already, that just wore me out. I'm tired. <laughs> though, I'm really sorry if, like, it seemed, like, very negative this video, though, but I just think this is stupid. And maybe I will, because I am going to review the Paranormal Activity movies anyway, so inevitably sometime soon we're going to be talking about this movie again. So, uh, I'm not ever escaping this, am I? <laughs> I'm not. Well, so, I think I'm done here. I don't want to make you guys any more bored or whatever else. I know you guys really liked that last one since I was a lot more, like I said, genuine and honest with how I am. Because usually in my videos I try to be uh, as much as myself as I can be, but at least to a limit. But with this, it just brought a lot of it out of me. I needed to get it out. So, hope you guys all enjoyed another look at the Paranormal Activity Next to Kin trailer reaction, official trailer. We're not going to be talking about Paranormal Activity Next to Kin or any of those words together anytime soon yet though like I said I'm gonna probably review the Paranormal Activity movies anyways soon because I do have plans on doing that anyway so the, we're not gonna be mentioning those words for a while now so I finally get to I it's like the, the movie I finally get to be freed from looking at this trailer and talking about this movie anymore so hope you guys enjoyed let me know what you guys think do you guys think it looks interesting did you see it um, let me know any spoilers in the comments. Uh, this is one time where I'm actually asking for spoilers. What happens here? I want to know. So, hope you guys enjoyed though. Um, uh, check out all my other stuff like I usually say at the end of the video and my links in the description and as well as all on my banner pages though and stuff like that. Though I have more stuff coming soon as well as updates though that I'm not mentioning here but I'll mention sooner on later though. But if you want to know my updates, watch my all my other previous videos where I give updates on the content that is coming out sooner so hope you guys enjoyed i'm going to be watching more trailers as well soon so rate comment share subscribe thumbs up thumbs down watch videos so up to you next time i'm audi 5000 and i'm just glad i finally got to talk about this and get this out of my system and i'm done though and again i do appreciate that you guys liked that last video since there was a lot of comments and views on the video and i didn't mean for it to be a rant as well as how it went like this one so both these videos are just crazy so that's I guess that's what the paranormal does to you it makes you crazy so hope you guys enjoyed and I'm already 5,000 I see you guys all next time Streaming October 29th exclusively on Paramount Plus.